Hey guys, it's Julian. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another come with me I'm so excited to bring you guys along with this come with me because I'm visiting a nursery for the first time that I've never been to before Which is about 55 miles south of me. So I'm really excited to explore this place um, I hope you guys enjoy this series Let me know down in the comments below because I love bringing you guys along with me And it's so fun to go ahead and explore different nurseries in different cities So let's go ahead and flip the view and see if there's any gems because I always feel like there's a gem in each nursery that I don't have in my collection and I just love seeing spaces like this. All right, so here we are at this really big plant nursery. But before we step in, I wanted to kind of show you what the outside looks like and the prices here. So something like this, and this is a Euphoria, is priced for $48. It looks like a rare plant to me and I'm very new with um, Euphorbias. I don't have a lot in my collection, but I'm really excited to take a look at all of the things that they do have. And I know a lot of my subscribers tell me to kind of slow it down so you guys can also enjoy the plant tour um, for the nursery. Share with you guys before I step into what looks like the greenhouse. So out here, there's two inch for $2.45 and four inch for $4.95. That's fairly reasonable and I wouldn't mind spending that kind of money for something that I don't have in my collection. Here is some bromeliads and then there's a lot of planters here. I'm very attracted to this section with the cobalt blue and white. Um, but before I look at any planters, I wanna just kinda take a look at everything that's going on out here. I wanna go ahead and just kinda check out the outside first before I start making some decisions here. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys been to this particular nursery. It's located in Orange County, Southern California. And if you have, um, what do you think about this nursery and is this your go-to nursery? I know a lot of my subscribers are in California. So if you take a look at this section here, which is what I wanted to look at before I walk into the greenhouse, is all of the succulents. And these look like they're in bigger planters. And I wanna know the prices here, so hmm. Not too sure and I think this may be just like the extras maybe I'm not too sure let's see prices here a lot of crown of thorns some echeveria some bird of paradise so this just may be like the overstocked area and um, it's just really nice to see by the way I always look at how people and nursery style uh, you know their display of plants and I love when they use the brick and wood method because I do the same thing in my patio all right so I don't see any prices out here so let's go ahead and make our way oh by the way look at this bear paw you guys know I looked at this at the plant festival and I don't see a price on this but oh my god how adorable is that I would totally pick it up if it was under eight dollars and then hanging succulents here. I love trailing succulents. Some um, donkey's tail, string of bananas, string of pearls, and um, yeah, let's go and check it out and see what's inside. I'm trying to not get overexcited right now, but I see a lot of air plants, and this place is amazing. All right, okay. My heart is like pumping really fast right now. So let me go ahead and switch the point of view. So here is an overview of the inside of the greenhouse. As you can see, it is so huge. It's like a warehouse of plant heaven here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slowly walk around and share with you guys this amazing place. And um, just walking into this greenhouse made my heart pump here. So it looks like there's a complimentary potting bench here, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, and I would love to see if I can plant up some stuff here. But I wanna go ahead and just kinda give you guys this point of view because it is amazing. And I don't think I've ever been to such a big open greenhouse before filled with so many plants. So let's go ahead and just walk really slowly so you guys can take this all in with me too. And I'm also curious about prices too. Mm -hmm. Well, yucca plant is $60 and they go up to really big. So here is, um, wow. So the burgundy ficus is priced for $140. Smaller ones go for about $50. In the Savinceria section, so $25 for something like this is kind of on the expensive side. 
compared to like Las Vegas. I'm kind of curious to also see how much one of these bird nests snake plants go for. Don't see prices. But just look at all the variety. If you love snake plants, like you'd be in heaven right now. And I'm actually trying to see if there's any variety that I don't have in my collection that I would love to scoop up while I'm here if the price is right. But you know what, guys? I have everything here. And let's see if there's prices. No, there's no prices here. But just look at this. If you want snake plants, this is your place. So it looks like the four inch pot is 250 which is very reasonable except the starfish which i have in the golden honey don't know what that is but i'm thinking it's probably in the yellow family here but like look at this right here oh my gosh i may have to get this guy so two inch it goes for 245 and a four inch goes for 495 so fairly reasonable depending on what you're looking for and there's a lot of things that I already do have in my collection that I probably don't see anything I don't have um, but something for you know in a two inch pot for two, more than two dollars is on the expensive side I know like the places that I take you guys in the come with me by the way this is gorgeous love this and I may even have that in my collection um, a two inch for more than two dollars is on the expensive side but then again if you get something like this where you see all these cuttings in here this is a first um, then you can get your money's worth and just split it apart i believe this is a simper virome i love that and i'm kind of looking in this section here now i do have a lot of succulents and a lot of variety so i'm not really want to spend a lot of time here but i do want to show you guys all of the things that they do have to offer by the way if you look back there you will see a lot of macrame hangers and a lot of white planters so i probably want to go in this section um, but there's a lot of anthuriums here and then if you look here the tillandsias and look at these beautiful blooms by the way mine have not bloomed yet and something like this goes for ten dollars but look at how gorgeous this is I may have to get one just because I want a bloom and none of mine are blooming. I really want one of these guys here. They're priced for 30 which is like the going rate for these guys here, especially this big. And some Spanish moss. So here is what they have to offer. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. I love dainty succulents like that. Um, but let's go ahead and go down this section which is calling my name. I see a lot of hanging planters here. So I don't have a lot of time. I have like 20 minutes to film this come with me along, per along with purchasing any plants that I would be interested in. Um, but I am just blown away on how organized this place is. I mean, the ferns are in one section, the poltos are in one section, the dracaenas are in one section. I mean, they're all organized and that just makes like the plant mom in me really happy. So I'm going to show you guys the section where I'm in because now the house plants are appearing. All right, so here is the fern section and I just love seeing ferns. There is the bird's nest fishtail fern, the maiden hair, and a lot of fun ferns that I love to have in my collection, but they're very finicky plants. And then if you come down here, just take a look at all of these potos here. We've got the neon potos, the silver satin potos, Potos and Joy, Marble Queen Potos are all here and in a two inch pot. So that makes it probably fairly reasonable to get it smaller like this. And then here are some spider plants and some umbrella plants along with some Dracaenas, the lemon lime. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And then the fiddles here go for about 45 up into the hundred plus dollar range, which is very trendy. And then this is probably like my favorite section here, which is the peperomias. You guys know I love a good peperomia. And arrowheads, not so much, but nice to see. And some ivies. ZZ plant. You can't kill that thing. So we got some... Oh, look at this, guys. I believe this is a calathea. Look at that. Um, I don't have a lot of calatheas in my collection, but this is really nice foliages. I'm kind of interested to see how much the house plants are and if they're all the same price for the different type of plants are they all priced the same i need to know 
Uh, but this looks like the Calathea section. Look at this. How pretty is that? I may have to get this. This is so cute. And then the Maranta or the prayer plants. So that's kind of what's going on in this section. And then you get to the bigger section here, which has a lot of Dracaenas and they go for 65, 75 and up. And these are the bigger ones. But I'm really interested guys to see the hanging plant section here, which is calling my name. Let's walk through the gravel. Okay, I am overwhelmed right now with so much joy. So we're in the hanging basket section and I always get really inspired when I see them all here for sale. Um, and I also see a lot of Calathea. See, I'm already getting distracted. But as you can see, it just goes on and on and on. And I love that. So let's see here. Everything here on this bench is $10 right here. So that's fairly reasonable. So they look like they go by the um, pot size. So six inch for $10. So in this section, everything seems to be in the $10 range. And I see some interesting thing. This almost looks like a neon umbrella plant if there's such thing. And um, I've never seen one before in a neon color. That's super cool. Um, but I definitely love the vibes here and how they organize things. Like just take a look at all that. So stunning. I think it's absolutely stunning. And just look at the splashes on it. I just think it's so, so cute. Look at that variegation. So stunning. I may have to get one. $10 is fairly reasonable. So moving along to the ferns. Hand ferns are very finicky type of plants, but if you live in a place that has lots of moisture, like say for instance my bathroom, um, these guys do really good. Oh my gosh, look at how stunning that is. If I didn't have a bird's nest fern, I'd totally get this. Right, now that I went through that whole section, let's take a look at all of this. Beautiful hanging baskets here. I'm just gonna walk really slowly to see if there's anything I don't have, but I pretty much have everything. This to me looks like some kind of Hoya because I see the strawberries and cream Hoya, which is my absolute favorite Hoya, well, one of them, but I don't have this guy here in my collection. And I'm um, kind of interested to see how much one of these guys costs um, because I don't have this particular Hoya in my collection. And I love that speckled look like the obovada also has very cool plant to see here and then let's see how much the tritoscanthia is the wandering jewel plant um, but there's no prices guys the brazilian philodendrons all right so six inch poltos is priced for twelve dollars fairly on the expensive side and then it goes into the golden potos and all of that. That goes for $10. So what else do we have here? The creeping fig and all of that. And they go for under $10 one. But very, um, very cool to see all of the plants that they do offer here. Right, here is the last section that I want to go over with you guys. So the ZZ plant in this size goes for $50. And up to 80 for a 14 inch and then the red congo which i have in my collection which is bigger than this goes for 45 i got mine on sale for 12 and then the bigger plants and let's see how much my alocasia is for price to where a hundred dollars and um yeah so that is going to wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed this little plant tour and come with me video i mean like it goes on and on and on like all the variety that they have here and um personally for me i think this is fairly expensive so this dracaena here is priced for 55 um but definitely cool to see and i was really hoping that i would find some gems here like some hoyas or some peperomias that I've been looking for in my collection. Guys, I'm heading to Laguna for the night, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and film for my channel because it's about 50 miles from where I will be for the night and I was passing through. So I hope you guys enjoyed this come with me 
video along with a plant tour of a very popular plant nursery here in Orange County which is about 50 something miles south of me. If you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments below. Thumbs up the video, subscribe to my channel. You can find more on my blog at ilovejulian.blogspot.com. It is so humid in this greenhouse and I'll see you guys later. Aloha from Orange County. Bye guys.